Hey crafty peeps, today I have some fun, colorful outdoor DIYs for you. So let's get started. My friend sent me this inspiration and I knew I had to make it. So I put out on Facebook, does anyone have a spare tire? Like hopefully like a like motorcycle size and a friend came through, said they had one. And so perfect, I picked up this like I don't know what they call these, like a garden, like to hang, a planter, a hanging planter piece, I don't know. So now I put this up on my fence beam here, um, just drilled it in with my cordless drill, and it's a little um, loose, so I just take a hand screwdriver just to tighten it up here off camera. And then here is my used motorcycle tire. That would have just gone to waste so I'm using it in this project so you just hang it on here just like so and then I grabbed this little planter from Joann's last year on clearance for around two to three dollars but I see these everywhere and that's about the average price um, and so I just love the pink polka dots so I used a pool noodle here one that I just had left over in my stash and I cut it down to fit inside the tire and I'll use this like floral foam and it fits perfect down in there because of course it's pool noodle right down in there. And so then I'm just gonna take some floral stems that I picked up from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna start cutting them down and adding them down in here. So if you look in the inspiration piece, it was actual flowers. They put dirt in there and actual flowers, which is amazing, but I have a black thumb and so growing real flowers is just not going to happen. So I am just going to use some faux flowers in here and I can change them out when they fade with the season. And that's it. That is all there is to this project. It costs me $1 for the pool noodle, $3 for the flowers and another two to three dollars for that uh, watering can which I'm not sure Exactly how much I paid for it. So around six seven dollars for this project And here's another inspiration piece that I found in a catalog and I thought it was super cute So I picked this shovel up from one of those like vintage -y craft type stores for three dollars and then I went on my Cricut in Design Space and I found this pre-made um, image that I cut out on my Cricut. And I will go ahead and I will put that down onto the shovel there. And it says bloom and grow. And then I will just take my flowers and I will wire those down to the handle and add a bow. And that's it for this project, super easy again. But I think it just looks super cute in my yard. And in total, this one cost me around $5. Is there an easier way to make this bow? Probably. I'm terrible at making big fluffy bow bows, so I'm really good at making small ones, but 
the big fluffy ones not so good at. So this is kind of my little cheat method, but I know there's much better ways. Also, originally I wanted to do this video more into the springtime, although technically it is still spring. But, you know, time, kids, all that. And I just now got to it this week. And it was 108 this week in Northern California. It was terrible. And so I had recorded this particular project a little while back. But the rest of the projects are kind of recorded differently than you may see here. And that is because Minecraft Studio could not get the higher, or wait, lower than 82 degrees. And most of the time it was around 90 degrees. It was way too hot. So I'm kind of taking, I take some pictures and I did some stuff outside. And yeah, it was miserably hot. But I'm really glad I finally was able to get to these projects because they make my backyard look so cute. So anyhow, you're going to see me sweat. You're going to see things a little different because I just couldn't get that studio cooled down. So a, a new fan came today. I'm really hoping I can cool it down in there. So it is not attached to my house. It's attached to my house, but it's not attached to the inside of my house. And so it doesn't have air conditioning. So, fingers crossed that I can record in there for the rest of the summer because it was super hot. All right, so back to this project. I'm just adding the bow and then we'll put it in the yard and we'll be ready to go. For this project, I picked up two of these eight foot by two and a half inch boards from Lowe's, and I'm going to cut them at five feet. And so what I'm gonna do is make a decorative ladder. On a side note, I wanna put a little disclaimer here, because you're probably wondering, is she pregnant? And no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> So as I'm cutting these here, I'm gonna tell you about this. So I have had two different hernia surgeries in the last year and a half. And the unfortunate side effect is a swollen belly. So I didn't want anyone to think I was pregnant and wish me congratulations or something. So, you know, it's just one of those side effects in life. So whatever, I'll take it because I'm way healthier now. Okay, back to the DIY. So I'm cutting these down, like I said, at five feet. So I'm gonna cut two of these boards. Again, I'm having so much fun with this miter saw. It's just like opened a whole new world to me. I highly recommend pushing yourself out of a comfort zone. Okay, so this stick here was left over from a teepee that I broke, like a play teepee. So of course I held on to it because it was wood. And so I unscrewed that little metal thing you saw in the last bit there. And then I cut these down to 16 inches. And so I cut four of these. And so I will cut four at 16 inches. So again, just kind of a little dowel that I had in my stash. Okay, so now I've marked every foot on my five foot board. So there's going to be four marks each 12 inches apart. And then I'm gonna drill a hole in those four um, spots. So that'll be where my rungs go. And so once I get all those holes drilled, I can go ahead and screw in the rung. So I'm gonna just give it a little bit of a start with my wood screw here just to get it going. And then I'll take the little dowel roll dowel rod and hold it into place while I screw that in. I have never done anything like this. I didn't totally even know what I was doing. <laughs> so there's probably a better way to do this. I just kind of want to show you how like I just jumped in and tried it to see what would happen. 
Okay, so now it's time to do the other side. So I held it, or I set it down here on my patio table, and I will drill the other side in. So I start with the top and the bottom first just to get a nice sturdy base, and then I'll do the two middle ones. All right, and there we go. There's my little decorative uh, letter. And I'm going to paint it with this Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I will put the color down in the comments. Okay, once that's done, I've added these three baskets that I found at the 99 cent store for $1.49 each. Then I'm going to take some of the floral foam and some Spanish moss and use some baskets from Dollar Tree. I take a little bit of both and put them in the bottom of the basket. Then I'm going to add these floral stems and I will use two total. And then I will repeat this for two more baskets. Then I'm going to use this farmer's market sign also from Dollar Tree and cut it apart. And make a little banner for the top of the ladder and use a staple gun to attach it. And that's it. I put my little floral baskets inside the white hanging baskets. And this is what you get. I found a green basket and filled with green flowers, yellow basket with yellow, and a red basket with red, and hung them from this bright blue ladder with the sign at top. I think this looks so nice in my backyard. It just brightens it all up. I love, love, love it. And I can just pop the baskets out and add new florals, or once it's winter, I can bring those flowers in. So I'm really happy with how this decorative ladder turned out. For this project, I'm gonna take some of these garden, I don't know what you would call them, little fence things from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna cut off the bottoms and the sides. So this project is inspired by Barb over at the Shabby Tree. And then after I was inspired by her, I saw that Olivia made them over at Olivia's romantic home. And so this is my take on the solar chandelier. So I saw, um, like I said, similar setup and I knew I had to make one. And so this is my take. So I took one and a half of these garden fences and I will take um, and use some zip ties to um, connect them and make a circle. I'm going to cut off the excess here and make it into a round circle. At first, it's going to seem like this is not going to go into a circle, but once I'm able to zip tie it down to the splatter screen, it will be a circle. So with that being said, the next step is using a splatter screen. And I grabbed one that has um, the little knob. I'm actually kind of excited that I don't need it because I'm going to use that for another project. So I will go ahead and I will set this on top. And I use my little mini screwdriver just to make a little bit of a hole so that I could fit through my zip ties. And I will go ahead and I will zip tie this fencing down to my splatter screen. And once I get that all together, I'm going to spray paint it with the same turquoise color I used on the ladder. And this is how it turns out. I love this color. So I'll go ahead and I will flip it over. And another thing I got from the 99 cent store is this lay slash garland. I'm getting a lot here for 99 cents. I was really excited to find this. And I don't even need the whole thing. So I'll go ahead and cut it down. And just so the leaves didn't fall off of the garland, I'll go ahead and put a little piece, not a piece, but a little squirt of hot glue so that it doesn't come unraveled. And then I'll go ahead and I will adhere that down to the top. And because this is going to be an outdoor piece, I 
don't want to use solely hot glue or it will fall off. So I will use mostly E6000 to adhere this down, but I will also use some hot glue just for some instant bond. Okay, so here's a little tip for Dollar Tree solar lights. You want to pop this out, turn it around, and that is what gives you a stake to put in the ground. I did not know that at first. You can also unscrew it. You also want to make sure that these tabs are in any lights that you buy before you buy it. You will pull the tab and that will activate your light. Okay, so now I'm going to um, see here how big of a hole I need to make and the way I start making the hole is by making an X and I will just continue to make that X bigger and then I can just poke it down. After all said and done these beautiful blue lights that I had originally picked up just don't quite work on this project. So I went back to just their typical regular clear lights because that is what was going to work better on this project. They have lots of different designs and shapes. They have ones with little bulbs, like little circle, like sphere bulbs. They have shapes. A lot of really good solar lights. Then I just take one of these chains that I also got at Dollar Tree, and all I have to do is just hook it to three sides on this whole thing. All right, as you see there. Once I get that down, I'll go ahead and add my flowers. These purple peony, Peonies? Peony? Did I say that right? Oh my goodness, they're so pretty and I love them against the green and turquoise. So now I'm just going to make kind of a, a hole here. I don't have to make too big of a hole and I'll just feed that stem down into that hole. I'm just going to start cutting all of the um, stems here just to see how many I'm going to need to fill all the way around my lantern. I'm just dying over this purple. I love this color so much. Once I get them all stuck down into my splatter screen, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over. And I will go ahead and twist the little stems here, as you can see, so that they don't fall out. So I don't need to use any glue or anything because they are, they've gone down through the splatter screen and then they've been twisted. And so they're nice and secure. And that's it. This project's done. I just hang it out into the sun. It gets its sun all day. And then the lights will go on at night. And I just think it's so beautiful. I love these colors so much. So this is what it looks like during the day. And this is what it looks like at night. Look at how bright those lights are. I was pleasantly surprised. It took three lights. And look at that. So bright. Love it, love it, love it. I love grabbing things off Facebook Marketplace and someone posted this window for free. I did not realize how giant it was because I thought it was probably a lot smaller, but it's big. It's very, very big. So I brought it inside my house. I cleaned it up as best as I can. It is dual pane, so it's dirty inside between the layers, but that's all right. Then I opened up Design Space on my Cricut and I just started pulling in some images and I measured them out real big. These are the images I use and I will put those down in the description. So once I cut all of those out, I used some glossy permanent vinyl and I set it up here on my window and then I will put them down. Now to measure, I just use a dry erase marker and I can just wipe it off when I'm done. So it's really easy to get things nice and even. And this is how it turned out. Super simple, basically a free project. It only cost me vinyl. 
I just love how this is going to look in my yard. I'm so excited when I found these wagon wheel wreath forms at Dollar Tree. And ironically, I had just seen this item online and I wanted to recreate it. But I kind of made a little twist on it and I decided to make it a statement piece on, a, on the fence itself. So I went ahead and I took these wagon wheels and I formed a pattern out on my floor. And so you see here, I used seven of them. Then I decided I'm gonna use my outdoor acrylic paints from Magic Fly and I'm gonna paint them in a rainbow. And what I love about these paints is they are water resistant. You can put them outside and they're nice and vibrant. So I went ahead and I painted one red and then orange and yellow and green, blue, purple, and violet. And then I go ahead and I use some zip ties and I put them all together and I cut off the excess. That's it. And then I can hang it on my fence. I just thought it added some fun color to my fence and I just love the bright colors now that are in my backyard. If you like this video, I sure hope you'll give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, happy crafting!